私と一つ手合わせを願えないであろうかここでかよ that's, that's a fight that I love to see Homer vs Elsie A good day, everybody. Salaviathan here, back with some more Eden Zero on season two, episode 13. And just when I thought we would get a break from all these surprises, they just keep on piling on. Ziggy's alive, but he's also evil. Ziggy is basically against humanity now. He wants to destroy all humans, bots for life. And he was with Captain Connor, who was on the Edens one. Now, there's a bit of a mystery here from last episode where we learned that、um, Captain Connor wasn't met when he was supposed to. Ziggy now has his、um, counter force to the regular Shining Stars, the Dark Stars, and they look scary.、Um, they were having a hard time trying to escape. Everything Was looking dire. Rebecca was about to time leap again, but lo and behold, the return of Elsie freaking Crimson. Ay, yeah, I'm so happy, yo. Hopefully, she can give us some information about what the hell is going on in world number、uh, 30 that is so much more different than world number 29. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited, g a m i t s I'm excited. But let's not waste any time and get started with this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications down below. It's critical to know when I upload next. And you know, check out、uh, my new kick page that I've opened up.、Um, the link is in the、uh, description on my channel.、Um, that's where the streams are going to be going on going forward now with video games as well as、uh, maybe some other things. So stay tuned for that, guys. But without further ado, let's get started with Eden Zero Season 2, Episode 13 The Woman They Called Pirate. Let's get started. Yo, Genki that the Kako Zodomo. Elsie! Oh, t h e r e s o m e Space Pirate Elsie has officially returned. I can't lie, that was a pretty impressive dodge. They got out of there by like a hair. Even Ziggy scared of her? He's like, nah, I'm good, yo, I'm good. We should get out of here, man. I ain't trying to fight her. <laughs> ジギーの剣だ。やっぱり最高だな。懐かしのエデンの湯。こうしてソラを見ながら温まる。てかなんで私まで？こうして直接会うのは初めてだね。I <笑> That's, that's a fight that I love to see. Homer versus Elsie? Dang, yo, they might actually destroy the ship if they fight. I don't care. Some way, somehow, we need to see Elsie Crimson go all out against somebody. We have to! We have to! She treated Homer like she was nothing and took her sword from her like it was nothing! Oh man! She's. she's way above her level! ダービオ。早くじいちゃんのことを教えてくれ。久しぶりだな、思考性のみんなも。ご無沙汰しております。エルシー様。ジギーがマザー探索の旅から帰るときにあったとか言ってたな。私は戦争難民だった。行く果て
ジギーも思考性のみんなも私にとっては初めての家族のようだったワルキリーのことは残念だった<笑> I definitely want to see like some type of backstory about Ziggy's first adventure on the Eden Zero. Recruiting everybody, looking, searching for mother. I need to see that. We need to see that. この船には赤ん坊だったシキもいた。私はお前のおむつを変えてやったことがあるんだぞ。え<笑>この辺りに着くと、ジギーは小型船でシキと共にグランベルに降り、この船を私に預けた。思考性もそれぞれ別の道へ行き。この船に残ったのはエルシーとウィッチだけだった。So it seems as though that in this timeline everything still kind of happened the same exact way。ジギーはなんであなたに船を任せたの確かに子供だったが、当時からバルキリーといい勝負をするくらいの腕前だったからな。<笑>この船の性能をうまく使えず、やがて物資不足に陥り、ところ構わず奪って回って、いつの間にか海賊と呼ばれるように。<笑>ドヤ顔するとこかしらその話少し引っかかるなジギーとシキがグランベルへ降りた時の小型船はどうなったそれがありゃ回りくどいことしなくてもシキが宇宙へ行けたじゃねえか仮説ですが一つ考えられることがあります yeah, what, what, yeah, that's a pretty good, good question there, ジギー様はピーグランベルに降りた後ジギー様はピーノを作りピーノがその小型船を使ってグランベルを出た私ですか話を戻すぞあの後私はグランベルに行ったんだ報告と墓参りのつもりだっただがその時ジギーの体からわずかなエーテル反応を感じた There you go! Somebody corrupted him! Like I said last episode! In this new world 30 Something changed here, which altered the past of Captain Connor, which also altered the future of Ziggy. つまりエルシーもじいちゃんがなんで急に変わっちまったかはわからねえってことかそうなるなだが一つはっきりしているあれはかつてのジギーではない人間と機械の和を重んじてた人だったのにそしてこいつが目覚めた直後のジギーの声を聞いた再生しますあ、oh, bro bro I'm scared man I'm scared I'm scared to hear this 我れマジャーの元に<笑> Freaking Ziggy looking for mother with his evil tendencies? Not a good idea, but damn, Elsie's gone already! Oh, she's gone already, but it sounds like she's gonna be back. Alright. It sounds like we're gonna be going out to the outer cosmos, so I'm thinking this whole Ziggy story is gonna take a back seat for the time being while we make it out to the outer cosmos. All right, man. Looks like we're finally back in Dragonfall. This is good. This is good. どうやって抜けるのだ。最大戦速で突破します。迂回すればよくね。不可能よ。竜の滝、ドラゴンフォールは桜コスモスを囲むように繋がってるの。あれ、見てください。あそこ。ドラゴンが死んでる。つうか、ドラゴンがみんな死んじまってる。やっぱりこれはエデンズワンの通った後です。Yo, those poor damn dragons! They were just like collateral damage. ドラゴンがやられる。Ziggy is ruthless. He's ruthless. せっかくだ。この道使わせてもらおうぜ。よし。万が一に備え、総員戦闘配置。ドラゴン接近。仲間をやられて凶暴化してるのね。<笑> These dang dragons are so strange. Are they like alive or are they mechanical? They look like they look like bots. Okay. 
この船に沈まれちゃ困るんだ俺は貴様を許したわけではないクリーネを傷つけた貴様をそれは違うの兄様ホムランは悪くないのホムラン Yo, looks like Clean and Homer are gonna be are gonna be good homies, man. I like that. Yes. First enemies, now friends. Is Arjun and Clean joining the crew? Exciting, exciting. Korega. Oh, Uta no Kapeni. Tekoto wa atashi no bai. Yo, Koneko ga shida. Naruhodo. I swear the Eden Zero crew is such a first class crew. Every single one of them has their use. Amazing, just amazing, incredible. This is so cool. Combining your ether gear with the dang ship? Yo, I like it because all their ether gears are like so unique and they can really put in some like different types of attack. This outer cosmos is amazing. I remember when uh, Captain Connor first came. He was uh, there was a bunch of fish in the uh, in space and stuff. I think Aoi is like a... Does that mean fish in Japanese? You know what that means, guys. He's definitely gonna be friends with us down the line. で、ここに来た理由は何なんだ。さあ、さあっててめえ。進路決めたの自分じゃねえのかよ。私たちの記憶だけでなく、エデンズゼロの外宇宙でのログも全部消されてる。私たちの記憶は修復のめどが立たない
greatly appreciate it guys it's really it's really appreciated but i will see you guys around take care and have a great rest of your day bye bye